cool. Alright, guys. Let's do this. It's a part two now. Because last time, something happened. But we're not going to talk about last time, guys. We are back. I am AG4N97. The man. The myth. The legend. He is back. He is coming back, guys. He is coming back. I had... I'll talk about what happened prior to my little... I think it was one month absence. But then again... Like I said before in my first intro, but it got all messed up. I make promises, alright? I made a promise that I would finish every game I started. And guess what? This is a game I started, so I have to finish it. Regardless of anything. And do you see? If you can hear that little swoosh, that means that this is all the games I still have left to play. Uh, there can be games that I haven't played before, or there can be games I have played before. It doesn't matter. I will play uh, maybe, maybe most of them, not all of them. Because some of them are really bad. I mean, I c if you want me to, I can still play them. Or you can give me uh, suggestions on which game you want me to play. And I'll play them. But that's a different story. Uh, let's get back into uh, L.A. Noir now. With, what we got? We got Arson. That's what we got. We got Arson House of Sticks. Look at this. We got... What, what's happening here, huh? Co. That was his name. There you go. I, I forgot his name last time. <laughs> now I remember. His name was really bad. Like, I can't believe I forgot something so simple like his name. Like, that's the main character's name. You should not forget him. You should not forget his name. House of Sticks. It's a little hope. You're a wrecker. Sound on the door says, Miss. Yeah, this is no shit, boy. All right, now we're we're not Cole Fells, but we're somebody else. Uh, dear Miss Lynchman, pertaining to the matter of policy number one 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 nine zero one six five nine and the sudden death of Mr. Lloyd Lewis John Juan. Butcher Walter, God damn, these weird ass names. I am writing to inform you that you have been named as sole beneficiary of Mr. Butchwater East Estate. Oh my God, really? Please find attached a settlement check for twenty thousand, the maximum payable amount in accordance with Clause Four A of the Life Care, Disability and Accidental Death Penalty with Mr. Butchwater held. If you wish to dispute the settlement, you may contact our account manager office by return mail or by phone during office hours. With condolence, that dude's name. Clarence F. W. Flurmerg, Claims Associate, California Fire and Life Insurance. There's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept the what settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. What, what? Okay, let me get the case file. I'm so glad we got all this reading, guys, because what I, you know, you know me. I just love my reading. All right, we got this. There's got to be more in these files. All right, we got approved. We got a house. We got a kitchen, a dining room, and then we got a pearl, and then a porch, roof, bedroom, 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 bathroom, I think, and then there's our two closets in the hallway. Cool, what we got here? Uh, California Hall of Life. Do do do. Let's flip this. Reinsurance policy number 1119016596, the same number as before. While in the employment of Listen Fields Development, Louis Juan Brencher was killed when the roof of the property on which he was working collapsed. <gasps> How tragic. On Tuesday, 28 January, at approximately 8 30 in the morning, Mr. Butch Water was uh, sending the roof structure of a property at the Normandy Avenue development when a fall in the ridge beam caused it to sag. Witness, witness report that Mr. Butch Water slipped and attempted to right himself by holding onto a ceiling rafter, but the rafter broke. 
Mr. Budgewire fell approximately 20, damn, 23 feet to the ground. Yeah, he's not surviving that. His falling weight caused several ceiling joists to snap, and these fell inward along with parts of prefabricated roof tish trush. Yeah. An autopsy later revealed that Mr. Budgewire Kern was shattered, oh, probably when he struck his head on one of the roof beams. He sustained significant internal injuries as a result of the falling timber and died with internal hemorrhage approximately 10 minutes later after initial roof collapse. Independent testing on the ridge beam. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Okay. Uh, where the hell was that? Independent testing of the ridge beam and roof trust had determined that faults in the timber were undetectable prior to installation. Witness report that Mr. Butchwater was following all safety procedures. It is the opinion of this investigator that the vet of Louis Juan Bunchwell to a consent to a during an unavoidable industrial accident. Ah. And no fault can be ascribed to instant fields development. The insurance benefits associated with this policy should be paid in full to the design beneficiary. Yup, that is my amazing English that you have. That is my amazing English. Alright, cool. Let's leave this. And I think that's all. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Uh, disputed claim play out, pay out. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Let's doubt that. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong. Uh, connection to Butch Walter. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. Yeah, I doubt that. That means you got some on the side from Butch Walter, you little hoe. Huh? You're doing co, and now you're doing Butch Walter. Can you at least give somebody a heads up when you're gonna fuck somebody? Please! You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Oh, damn. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. Well, uh, that seems a little bit awkward. Nah, I don't believe her. She still got some on the side. Isn't she German? So, like, are you Jewish German? Or, like, how does that work? Uh, motive for dis dispute. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. That's the truth. You know you want it investigated because Cole wants it investigated. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. Damn, Cole's trying to get it. Sorry, boy, you're already too late. I mean, Kelso. Cole already got in. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Tell him I don't care. I don't want to see him. Come on, I'll walk you up. No, that's a little bit weird. Can I put his hat on? No? Whatever. This whole little control feels so weird. Oh my god, you know I haven't played in forever. You coming? No, girl. I am not coming. I'm just gonna walk around. Please. 
Come on. What is this? What did my boss want, huh? Joe's buddy. He's nice. Really. What does he want? Does he want to fire me? Because I was talking to some chick. He doesn't even know what I was having that conversation about. Unless he tapped my room, little piece of shit. Don't I have rights here? Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes. Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. Yeah, what about him? It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. What the fuck? Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's something She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Ah, uh, boy, you were just yelling at me. Thanks, Mr. Benson. This dude was just yelling at me, and now he wants to be all friendly, friendly. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Oh, thanks, dude. Thanks, kid. No, we will drive there. We will take our sweetest time driving there. Uh, we don't even get to see how he looks. I'm guessing he's German too, because he said. Not <laughs> close. Yeah, I'm guessing he's German because he said, uh. There. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, but I'm guessing he's German because she's German and all that cool stuff. And we don't even get to hear cutscenes anymore because he has no partner. He literally by himself because he's a loner. And so, well, what are we gonna talk about here? Well, let let me talk about where I have been for the past month. Now, let me see. What? What? Hey. Who? Why? Who does that? Tell me, please. Tell me, whatever. Anyway, uh, where have I been for the last month? So basically, it was school and work. School, work, school, work, school, work. And then I got done with school, so I should be uploading more videos or at least trying to. But yeah, so I got done with school, but now it's work, 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 work because I need money, guys. Because life isn't cheap. Life is not cheap. Life is not fair either. If I can just get paid by doing nothing, then I would do that. But unfortunately, I do not get paid like that. I do not get paid like that. I get paid by working. And working takes time. Time I wish I had doing other stuff. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, yeah. Uh, take that left like by Beverly. Okay. Please. Must be his blind spot. Yeah, it's his fault. But yep, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, let me talk about you guys. Oh, oh, you've been doing that? That's kind of a little bit weird. You guys have like no friends or something to go hang out with? Just been waiting for all my amazing videos to come out? Sounds like a little bit of a weirdo. But you know what, guys? I'm not here to judge. That's not my job. My job is just to make these videos and hopefully get the occasional laughing or two. Run, Sean. I've been here before. Oh my God, a piece of paper. What does that paper say? That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. 
Someone is cutting corners. Uh, he learned how to mix some men, I think. I never even learned that. No, nope, we just automatically go to the front. Right, let's pick up this piece of paper first. The city of Los Angeles pursuit to section 109. 109, yes, that's what I said. Uh, part 1, subsection 8 of the California building code hereby orders that... Bulldozing and starting again. That any building work at the Norman Army subdivision associated with the incident of 128-1947 be immediately demolished and all building material removed from the site. Notice date September 22nd, 1947. I mean, is this just illegal? You just ran right up here. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Delays will not be tolerated. We do not have time for delays, guys. Boy, I do what I'm Jack I want. Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and you deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Boy, I was a mid like you do. Okay. Okay, I figured how to fight. Hit him. Oh, you you're a real ass. Say it again, huh? Oh, you getting your ass beat? Ain't nobody here to help me now, huh? Oh, you're getting, oh, you're gonna get kicked, boy. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Yeah, you can't talk shit when I just beat your ass. I'm gonna pick up my hat too, huh? Little Mr. Tough Guy. Can't be talking all that smack when I'm the one who beat your ass. It's all the way around. Go to the demolished house. Yo, guys, if you're behind me, you're like, oh, it's not even that far. Oh, it's literally rubble. There's, what the hell am I gonna do in rubble? Kelsey, I don't think you planned this through. The place falls down, and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Not bad, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at other stuff. Are you just cracked? Boy, are you talking shit? Why is everyone talking shit to me? I literally just came here. Just to interview, not interview, investigate this amazing house that fell and they both doors. Both those. But nope, everybody wants to give me so much shit. How bad is it? I don't need this. I swear, this house is oh, weird. Are you liquored up? Let's try to piece this together. There you go. Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Uh, you could have just left. Run! Son of a bitch. Oh my god, what am I doing? How? How? Run! Run! No, ah! oh, you fell. I was I was trying to they told me to shoot him. I thought I I thought I can shoot him and run. That was a fail. That was an epic fail. Oh god, that's real closer to me. <laughs> that's closer to me than what I thought it was gonna be. It really is. Yo. Alright, let's just run. 
Oh my god, no! Run! Wow, that was... That, that was the game's fault. No, I don't want to skip it. I know I'm doing really bad, but I don't want to skip it. I know I'm not this bad at this game. Yeah, yep, just run. Son of a bitch. See, I feel like the things that he's hitting slow him down more than what I'm actually doing. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I thought I was right. I was completely wrong. I was completely wrong. Nope, I do not want to skip. Please stop telling me. I will do this. Alright, so I'll jump against these two and then I'll shoot him. And then... Why can't you just run like a normal person? Do that. Oh shit! Run! Run! Jump to the other one! On Jack! Alright, alright, you're, you're almost there. You're, you already did it. Huh? Sorry, pal. Just when I thought we were starting to get on. He messed with me, he gets the bullet. You get the gun. You mess with me, you get the horns, my man. Well, you don't see that every day. So are we just not gonna call the cops? Hey, We're just gonna this leave? Isn't, New York. isn't that murder? Like, how did this dude even have a goddamn gun? Isn't he a life insurance person? Or just because he's a a marine and then he carries one? Are you licensed, Jack? Huh? No, that was my bad. I barely hit the dude. He got in my way first. Are you drunk, mister, or are you just cracked? Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Cool. I'm the loony person, boy. Why am I loony? Maybe it's you walking around a neighborhood that's not even finished yet, huh? Maybe you're already the loony person here. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Uh, riding around in my automobile. It's something. You guys, leave me alone. That's my uh. That's my siren going off. Did everyone get that my way? Because you're, if you're in my way, during my little siren, then you're getting shot. Go ask the bulldozer guy. He didn't make it. Because he fucked around. And that's what happens. When you fuck around, you get the bullet. Can I still tell him where the hell is he? Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Huh. Okay, it would look better in my head. Alright, we're gonna do this drift. We're gonna do this drift. Well, once we reach this little street. Wait, tell me where I gotta go first before I start going crazy. Oh, yeah, I can do this drift here. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Once we reach this little street, we're gonna do a drift. Okay, there has there's too many people. Oh! Yeah. That's my amazing drift right there. God, dude, why would you turn out of nowhere? 